This is a how-to demo Thursday. Today we're gonna to show you some awesome information on how to change a derailleur cable. Good morning. So sometimes uh, a derailleur cable needs to be replaced or it may snap. In which case, that cable running from up here down to the back of your, one of your derailleurs, your front or your rear, um, needs to be replaced. So you need a couple things. You need a screwdriver and an Allen tool. The screwdriver is for the front derailleur handle, uh, the changer clicker thing, and the Allen wrench is for the, the derailleur to connect the cable there. So let's pull over to one of these trees. You like to be sustainable, so we'll use a tree and uh, show us how it's done. So we're on the Trek mountain bike today, and it just so happens that I stamp the derailleur cable. So first thing you want to do is, is to release the derailleur cable from the derailleur. So mine's already been done. It's actually already up in here. It's already been frayed here. Um, so we'll loosen that and get rid of that excess down there. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, Allen tool to release this. And those are just uh, scraps. So it's pretty tight, which it should be. It's holding something pretty important. Got it seized on there. Okay, so there's our extra derailleur cable. And then we'll go up to the front of the bike. And up here, now in most derailleur uh, changers up here, there's gonna be a little screw. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but just right in here, there is a screw that I can release. There it is. So it's just this little piece here. It's just this little piece. Sorry, it's not in focus. Um, and that comes out, there's not too many threads on it, but what that does, it opens up a cavity in there, and then this, the, by pushing here, oh, this is kind of, by pushing this, by pushing the cable in here, we can get the little uh, bead to come out and then pull that. And it should, it should just pull out like this. Okay, so that's the whole derailleur going through the housing and it looks like it popped off. Looks like it popped off this guy. But that's okay, because we can just thread this right back on the correct way. Yeah. So, then we get our new derailleur cable, as shown. Yeah. And unthreading this. Good morning. Okay, so once that's all unwound, this is just gonna pop right through there. And then we're gonna connect it to that rear derailleur. It's a really simple job. They're gonna charge you probably 20 bucks to do this in the shop. Um, the, the cable here is about four or five, depending where you get it from. And then, good morning. So. so tight. I wish I had like a joke to tell or something, you know? Like, uh, why didn't the lifeguard save the hippie surfer? Good morning. 
because he was too far out. Love it. Okay. So we're gonna take this end. We're gonna take the end without the uh, the knob on it and just thread it through here. And then we're gonna make sure that our actual cable is connected here. So that should go through there, just like that. So we're gonna, I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're gonna feed this through. And eventually it's gonna pop out that other end and we're gonna attach it to the, the cable. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Hi. Great. Doing some bike maintenance here on the trail live. Okay, now it does get a little stiff because it's probably sticking out that other end and it has to go through the housing. So if we look, there it is. It's coming through. So we'll pull this, feed it through. Pull it from this end. Okay, nice and tight down there. And then attach this guy. Which hopefully is not broken. That's all the way back in there. We're going to put this cap back on to plug that hole. trying to get to work. Okay, now it's gonna like tighten and then kinda, you know, there's kind of a sweet spot on it, so. Hopefully that's it. And then we go to the back here. And we use our Allen wrench. to uh, connect that up. So just threading it through. And we are in the lowest gear, or the actually the highest gear. Give it a final tighten. look there that was just threaded through there and in now we do have this extra cable which you should snap and put an end cap on but since we forgot our scissors we're just gonna tie it up a little bit back here